Hey, how is everyone doing today? So, in today's video, I just want to go over real quick. So, it's going to be about setting up your EverDrive, trying out some emulators again. That way, everybody can see. I'm also going to include a link that way you can just pretty much drag and drop all the emulators that uh, Kirkes has available. Now, you can do this yourself by searching through the internet and finding it yourself. I figure I'll just make it easier on everyone and just put a media fire link there and y'all can just download it. It's very simple. You just put, you just extract it, put the EMU file in and that's it. So what we're going to do is first a big shout out to everyone who has been subscribing. Y'all are all awesome. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, please leave a like, subscribe, turn the notification on, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. That'd be very helpful. And you know what, from here on, let's just get into the video. All right. So you got your EverDrive in hand, finally. Now I know some some of y'all people are still waiting for it. Now when you get it, just come back to the video if you want. Keep an eye out for the video. Save it. Do whatever it is you need to do. So you got your you got your EverDrive. Obviously, you'll need a couple things. You'll need a uh, micro SD card. For myself, for this video purpose, I'm going to be using a uh, SanDisk Extreme 16 gigabyte. I personally have a Evo Samsung 64 gig in my EverDrive when I use it daily. I'm just using a fresh one for video purposes. Now, what we'll do is let's just pop in the micro SD. All right, there you go, popped up. Now from here, let's just do a quick format to FAT32. You wanna make sure it's FAT32, start. Okay, perfect. That is done. Now, since that is done, let's go to here. Let's open it up. Okay, so let's just put that to the side. Now you have to go to their website. Here's the OS update. Just find the latest one, 1.16, and download it. It's fairly simple. Now let's go to here it is. Uh, let's extract it, extract, that's it. Now let's open it up. This is what you're gonna need to drag and drop. Now within here, it'll have a whole bunch of information. Now here is what I was referring to before. If you open this up, these are the emulators that this can use. You can use for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, you use Goomba. For NES, you use Pocket NES. For Neo Geo, you use NGP Advance. For Master Systems, you use SMS Advance. And for Game Gear, you use SMS Advance as well. Now, it's very simple. After you download it, you change the name to NES.GBA, like it states up here. And you do the same thing for the other ones. GBC.GBA, G, you know, like GB. You know, GBA, that kind of stuff. And I have it right here as well for everybody can see. If you hear, this is all of them. Now... I've included a link in the description below. That way it would make it easier for everyone. So if I just show it to you, this is the link that's going to be there. You pretty much put it there. Make sure it works. And there you go. This is pretty much the same thing that I have. You just download it and you extract it and you just drop it straight into your micro SD card. So since we have that, you know, what? why don't we do everything again right here? Let's just download it here. Let's save it as if I was someone doing it, watching the video. So let's close this out. Here it is. So let's open up the micro SD, okay? So we got the micro SD opened. Here's the system. You just want to drag and drop. Very easy. Now you'd want to take mine, extract all. Okay, there we go. I'll give it, it should be done already. Let me see, refresh. Okay, here, here it is. I oh, distracted twice. I, I already had it in desktop. So, you know what then? Let's just move it over. Okay, move, replace. And that's it. Now it's here. There you go. Here's, this is where the game, where the emulator gets saved, system gets saved, system, all that good stuff. Now, I already have a game here with some stuff that I've already grabbed and ripped from other places so let's just copy this over and that is pretty much it for the computer side 
Now, it is very straightforward. What I'm going to do is we'll just show you how it works on the analog pocket and we'll just take it from there. So now let's transition over to the analog. Pocket. All right, so we are back. Now, it's pretty straightforward. Here is the micro SD card I'm using is saying this extreme 16 gig, obviously the EverDrive, the analog pocket right in front of me. Now, obviously all we gotta do is just pop it in, okay? And start it up. Now, the first one I'll do is just an example of straight up Game Boy Advance, since that's really what you primarily wanted to use it for. But the emulators are a very nice perk. So let's try Final Fantasy Tactics. Now, real quick, here's where you can go to ROM settings. Now, this can make a big difference depending on the game. If you're having issues with the real-time clock, for example, on Pokemon Emerald, here's where you can go to change it. See, on, off, pretty straightforward. There you go. If you're having save issues, you can test out the different save saves right here. You can change it up. So you flash 128, no save, SRAM. This is where you can switch up the saves if you're having any issues and you want to play around essentially with the saves. So let's go here, let's start game. I think I have the volume up. There you go. Straightforward. Obviously, how you get these ROMs is on you. I ripped this from the game using, you can use, for example, GB Operator. You can use a DS to rip games as well. If you have a flash, if you have a, one of those flash cards for the DS. Uh, so there are many different ways you can get these games. So other ways are online, that's up to you guys. Now, this is very simple, this is the actual game. Pretty cool. So you can actually change the color scheme. But here is the Game Boy Advance. Now, this is not an emulator, this is running it, loading it onto the actual cartridge. But, I'm not showing you a game review of the Final Fantasy Tactics. So let's go on to the next one. Now the one thing I will say is unlike the EverDrive GBX7, there's no button to open up a quick launch. So you have to turn, you know, at least with this system, you just go hit the home and you just go back. For the other original systems, you gotta just do a restart, hard restart. So now we got that out of the way. Let's go over some of the emulators. So we'll start with the Game Boy. Now I have one, pretty much one game per emulator I'm gonna test out, or if not, this is gonna be a very long video. So let's go with Game Boy. Here we got Legend of Zelda, the Link's, what is it? The, yeah, the Link's Awakening, so. This is Game Boy. There you go. Now with these, if you press L and R, you can change some settings around, you can do B auto fire, A auto fire, you can play around with the display, change the palette. So here is where you can do some stuff. There you go. So that's pretty cool. You can definitely change it up. Cool. Look at that. Okay. All right, so I should do that. You can do speed hacks. Let's try. Oh, I think it's already set up that way. You can do save states, which is pretty cool. So let's see a let's see save state. Let's do a save state now. So it's save. Okay, looks like it's saved. Okay, let's just go through all the names. There we go. Now let's do load. There you go, let's load it back up. Cool. So the run game runs very well. I don't have any issues with this emulator. Never had any, any issues with the Game Boy emulator. This one does give you a restart. Let's try it, let's see what happens when you restart. Just restarts it the game. Let's see what happens when you exit. Doesn't do anything, doesn't take you back, unfortunately. That would have been cool, but it does not. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much what you have here for Game Boy. Now they're both using Goomba for Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So 
the settings will be pretty much the same as you saw there. So, but we'll go through it anyway. Let's do Game Boy Color. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. There we go. There you go, see? Same settings as before. So it's cool you have the auto. You can do save state. You can definitely play around with this if you want to try and, you know, get the best out of it. If you can see, it doesn't let you stretch it out. Now it's a gamma. Let's see if, it, if you can stretch it out a little bit. Hmm. That's cool. We have some good other settings as well. Swap A and B, auto sleep after five minutes. Here you can test out the FPS. Cool, see? Obviously runs at full speed. It's an older game, it doesn't have any issues. It's cool to have emulators for the Game Boy Advance. Okay, very straightforward for Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Just gonna go down the list now. Let's see. We did Game Boy, we did Game Boy Advance, we did Game Boy Color. Now let's do Game Gear. We'll do Sonic the Hedgehog for Game Gear. There you go. Looks pretty good. You know what? Let's see what settings we got. All right. Oh, look, you have the FPS meter. Cool. What else? There's a whole bunch of other settings on this one. Display has a lot more stuff. Uh, you can change the borders. Color's interesting. All right, all right, all right. There you go weird having it like but it, it kind of it's cool you can fill it out at least uh, if you don't want a black but cool the game runs very well if you look at the frame right up there you can tell it's going pretty good frame rate is definitely holding strong So an EverDrive is definitely a good all-encompassing item you can use if you want to play many different games. This does open up a lot of games for everyone. Okay, so let's go on to the next one now. Okay, so we did that. Let's go to Neo Geo Pocket. I got Metal Slug for Neo Geo Pocket. Let's try this. Okay, you know what? here are the settings. Play, change the border, border color, none, black. We'll leave that one like the other settings. Oh, look, let's do the FPS again. I can even change the, change the clock speed. Looks like six is gonna be the fastest. Yep, I know, see? Let's just do that. Yeah, the FPS ain't that great though. I don't even know where the audio is. I don't hear anything. Well, 16 FPS definitely isn't the best. <laughs> Might not even be playable. Oh, wow, yeah, this is, this is not great. Ouch. That was very skittish. Other fan. Oh, let's see if anything else will help. It just makes it worse, but whatever. <laughs> that makes it horrible. Wow, yeah. 
Okay, uh, this game is pretty much not playable. Man, this is, ah, oh, this is rough. Too bad, I really like slug, metal slug, so. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind playing games like this, be my guest. Uh, personally for me, this is not for me. Not the best way to play this game. Okay, Neo Geo, I've done other videos with talk about Neo Geo on, on the Everdrive. It doesn't ever end well, no matter which game I try. All right, let's move on to Nintendo system. This is just the original NES. Got Mario Bros. Now here, look, you get a whole bunch of other settings as well. I like having the FPS counter. Let's just do that one. This is the original Mario. <laughs> it seems to be running very well. It has their good speeds. Not good. <clears throat> it's definitely keeping it up pretty good. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is definitely a good one. You can tell this is definitely working very good on this game right here. So, NES seems to be a good one as well. All right, let's go over to the last emulator that I have here. This is the last one. Does it keep the video not too long? Let's do Sega Master System. We're gonna use Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I can already tell it's running very well. Let's do other settings, let's do the FPS. Uh, 60. 60 frames not right. It's not too bad. And this one I like this one actually fills out the screen. Oh yeah. This one runs very well. You have a lot of games here you can play, so I'll say that. This will definitely turn the uh, analog pocket into a nice device. Especially if at least some of the other stuff, if you don't have the adapters, all that kind of stuff, this is a good way to take advantage of stuff that you might already have, if you have the analog, or if you're expecting it soon. Ah, died. All right, but looking at it, it's pretty good. I'm actually, I actually do like the emulators. I recommend all of them except for Neo Geo. Yeah, for some reason that one does not run well. Very interesting. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and have a good one.